the first event of its type and scope in Jamaica since COVID. It was expected that Dream Weekend would get lots of attention within and outside the Jamaican entertainment space. But I don't think we expected the degree of alleged breaches to the Disaster Risk Management Act coming out of the party weekend. So what is Dream Weekend's response to these allegations? The company's marketing manager, Chief Ted Campbell, right now, right here on our stage, and to also speak about the big upcoming New York <laughs> staging of the party series. Yes, they're planning a staging in New York. Sir, welcome. Glad to be back. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have you back. Yeah. You know. So the, the Ministry of Local Government yeah. gave you a C rating. Minister Mackenzie. I mean, honestly, I, I haven't seen it, but yeah. um, that's a little unfair. You did better than that? Um, I think that we did the best that was possible. Mm -hmm. um, given the circumstances, you know, in the parameters that we were given, we did the best that was humanly possible. Yes. Right. Um, the team, the Dream Entertainment team, we pulled out all the stops, mm -hmm. right, to adhere to all the guidelines that were given to us by the Ministry of Health, by the, our, our government. And uh, we made sure all those things were put in place for the safety of our patrons and for the you know wider Jamaica. So yeah, we did what was humanly possible, right? Okay. In the in so the those time. pictures coming out with people right. not wearing masks and not mm -hmm. social distancing. How do you respond to that? A lot of those pictures are from other, other events, and I, no, and this is not to say that there that we had that everyone in our events were wearing a mask. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that, but the truth is, because I've seen a few of those pictures. I've seen, I've seen pictures that were labeled Scan Me Entertainment when Scan wasn't even at the event, right? Um, with massive crowds, you know, events from 2019. So I've seen videos from other events and I've seen videos from uh, dream events of years ago. Mm -hmm. So I know that... This is, the way, this is the way it works, you know. Uh, sometimes the, the, the negativity uh, coming out of something is easier to, to feed into than, than what actually happened and the positive parts uh, of it, which was the fact that we had medical professionals at our redemption center ensuring that every single person and this is not just for patrons, this is staff as well. Yes. Or every single staff member either presented a negative COVID test or evidence of their vaccine. Yes. Uh, you, being vaccinated. You are you're stating now categorically that there Absolutely. were no breaches at your gate. Not, not from our end, not from our team. And er, anything else outside of that would have been unfounded. And we had mobile testing units from MD Link and there are other approved testing units on the strip. We had one right outside of our, our, the gate of our redemption center each day. So for persons who would come in to try to get but their the tickets. But the ministry's mm -hmm. monitors right. were there, weren't they? They were. They, so, they, did, they did do uh, their inspections. Um, so, so they are influenced by those fake pictures? They are, what? I can understand why they would be influenced or how they could be influenced by it. Do you not believe now mm -hmm. that not inviting professional media, not accrediting professional media to be there, yeah. was a mistake? Um, I don't want to say it was a mistake. What I will say, though, is that, yeah. I mean, because I, I saw one media professional uh, explicitly say that Dream Entertainment locked out the media, which was not true. Because mm. to, to say that we locked out the media is suggesting that um, we told them that they're not allowed to come inside. What I'll accept is that we didn't extend invitations um, to the media. W reason being, we understand that optics are important. Just as we've seen right now, 
uh, we are seeing right now. Optics are important. And um, there is something called ap appearance versus reality. You know, what something appears to be is not necessarily what actually is or what happened. Um, and sometimes for stories, the media will sometimes put things out, you know, for extra clicks. The media has a responsibility to be truthful. I agree with that. To tell 100%, the truth. 100%, 100%. And to counter lies. 100%. As much as you think that they will sensationalize and what have you, it, they, they will not, they will have to account for what they say. For example now, if we were putting out the pictures that mm. you say are fake, right. you could sue us and you know how to Absolutely. find us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. I mean, I've seen a, 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 a publication mm. state that there was an estimated 20,000 people inside of Dream Weekend yes. when that is absolutely false. A local professional, a local, mainstream local, publication. Local, local people. So we don't call them out. <laughs> they know they are. I mean, we see it. It's, it's there. I mean, and I, while, while, and this was, this was the day after our first event, right? 20,000 20, at one event. At, right? Which... I don't think you have any, any venue down there can hold that, but... <laughs> I'm just saying, I yeah, mean, yeah. and which, the reality is that our numbers for the, 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 the total weekend uh, was approximately 2,500, which is 1,000 less than what we were permitted yeah. to have. Mm -hmm. So, um... As I'm saying, I, we see these things. So regardless of how it looked, right. you have the backing and support of the, 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 the enforcers, the what? local government ministry, right. the Ministry of Health. We believe that we should allow the numbers to speak for themselves. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the, the testing sites, they can, show, they can send you their numbers. Um, MD okay. link and, and... So those numbers will, will reconcile... Right. We, that is what we believe. With what you have? We, it, their numbers will reconcile with That your... is what we believe. Essentially, we created a bubble. Um, and while, while bubbles don't 100% mitigate um, uh, all risks, mm -hmm. it does mitigate most. Um, and against most. And uh, we believe that of people in our events with that big space, uh, and a much smaller number mm -hmm. um, being affected by COVID inside that bubble would be significantly less. All patrons had to have a mask to enter the event. If you didn't come with one, we had them at the entrance. You couldn't get a, a ticket to go inside our event without first being verified by our, by our medical professionals. And when, once you got your, your COVID-19 negative armband, that is when you are able to get your season ban or your ban for the, the event. Impact on the local economy? The Westmoreland? Yeah, man. Negril? Um, even um, the president of the Negril Chamber of Commerce said that, you know, of, I mean, in any event that you're going to have anywhere during this pandemic, there are always going to be concerns. But uh, he mentioned um, rightfully that the, they are positives. It, the, the, the business, the commerce is crucial to Negril. Um, in, in the past, what Dream Weekend does for our, our economy, I mean, we contribute our, around four billion to the Jamaican economy. And while this, this staging- Four this, billion? Four billion, yeah. Per staging? That's correct. Wow. So, so while this year would be significantly less for obvious reasons, mm -hmm. um, you would, I, I wish that people that weren't there were actually there to see the activity that, 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 that took place in terms of commerce on the Strip for the, entire, the entirety of the, the festival. Um, people were, were so grateful. They were so grateful to have, have us there because they missed it. Not just the entertainment, not, not, not even the entertainment, because the vendors don't go inside the event. They are there every single day from morning. From, where, from our events at 6 a.m., they are there till 7 p.m all day just providing you know different things for you know our mm -hmm. patrons you know um and this is how they live this is how they survive this is how they feed their families and their children you know so um, mr wallace is, was absolutely correct uh it was crucial for you know for, for commerce do you think that entertainment is being scapegoated by other interests yes and the truth is, it is not easy to not use entertainment as a scapegoat. 
we are we come in close contact with each other all the time uh, it, it goes against what social distancing is yes, yes. so it is it is not easy to not use it as a scapegoat however what we need to see we need to see the numbers the facts that are coming from events that's what we're not seeing for everybody out there who either spent money with 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 dream you know uh who showed up to negril the dream entertainment family wholeheartedly appreciates every single person because what they did was not just for us yes coming out to, to negril being a part of the events what they did was not just for us they did it for the entire west Milan, they did it for the entire jamaica um and we appreciate every effort to make it happen you know so and they can look forward to dream weekend new york oh yes yes yes, yes. go ahead and tell them about that and, well, and we're in new york and how is new, how is new york treating you better much better much better to be honest with you the the, the west Milan police you know the police they are there, they understand what was going on, so they can tell the truth, they can tell the stories. Um, but to be honest, New York has been, has been treating us well so far. The people are very excited about it, very, very excited. We're going to be at Brooklyn Hangar, um, August 27th to 29th. Yes. And unlike Jamaica, we're not, we're not bringing the same Jamaican events to New York. Mm -hmm. We've created something special, something different for, for uh, um, our North American um, audience. And so, you know, it's three days, three events. On the Friday, August 27th, we have Spice. So that's, that would be Dream Live. Dream Weekend presents Dream Live uh, on the 27th. That's Spice. Probably could have called that night the Spice. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, and, and I want to tell you that they're, they're so looking forward to seeing Spice. Um, and Saran is going to be on that show as well. You know, he's been getting a lot of, uh, uh, of praises for his, I mean, new music. And, you know, he's very well respected um, in, in yeah. New York as well. Mm -hmm. um, on Saturday... We're going to go a dream weekend, um, dream all white. Mm -hmm. So um, all white, we have, we have Aji performing that, that night. We have Bungie performing that night. We have Chi Ching Ching performing that night. So it's going to be, it's going to be a, a, a wicked show. And then to close out the weekend on the 29th, um, dream weekend world dance. World you know, dance. Headline artist Afro B, um, okay. Nyla Blackman, you know, and Capella Gray. Where you got so, it, dance? World dance. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so is that, it's, it's is that, funny is that Jamaican kind of dance yeah, or thing? Because we, it, it, original it, it, thing? We're, it, because it's, it's going to be, um, we, it, that, that theme is, is rep your flag, yeah. right? Wherever you come from. Bring out, so bring out the flag. One big dance, one big dance um, with people from all over the world. You know, so that is, you know, because you know New York is a melting pot. Yes, so yeah, man, rep, rep your flag. One world dance right there. Yeah. So it's gonna be a, it's it's so it's gonna be something really special. Sounds exciting. And Very special. And on stage will definitely be there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sir. <laughs> Thanks for the invite, but there was respond here. <laughs> but fans of New York. <laughs> yeah. Fans of New York, go support these guys. They're serious. They're responsible yeah, gentlemen. No matter what you are here, Rona, they're responsible. Yeah, we've been tracking them from the very start. Dream weekend. They are real professionals doing business professionally. So give your support. You're not supporting um, irresponsible people who are just trying to, to, to have parties. They are businessmen. Mm. They are investing serious amount of time and money into what they're doing. All right, so that's it. That's him right here in this segment of our show. The man himself come to do it. That's why they call him Chiefs 10. All of 10 Chiefs.